Fish, December 11th, 2017. And, um, yeah, yesterday someone left a comment in one of my videos. It was, they had a dream. They had two dreams. They were in deep space and lots of dark purple and heard firmament. Second dream, deep space, purple, open heavens. And, you know, I read it and it really... Nothing really popped into my mind at the time. But later on, in a conversation with someone else, the whole uh, NASA uh, subject matter came up. You know, all just, I forget even what it was specifically, but that's when it struck me. It was like, hmm, the purple, the space. And, you know, like a year or so ago, I was, I was doing videos on NASA and you know, bringing it back to scripture. And, you know, everybody's been through this more or less. I mean, for those of you who have not at least read the first chapter of the first book of the Bible, you should. <laughs> you know, it explains how, where you live was created. And it's important because based upon what we have seen in uh, what appears to be still a controversial subject of the flat earth and me personally I have to include in my testimony that if it were not for the proof to me personally shown to me that the earth and space are absolutely nothing what these people tell us it is and I don't get involved in the the controversial aspect of it and trying to prove one thing or another because I know that the earth is how it's described here. And as far as space goes, well, that's the firmament. The firmament and the heaven are the same thing. And that's where the lights are. <laughs> the sun, the moon, and the stars. Now, we get into the different definitions of stars, and there aren't that many different definitions. There are some that are set apart, that are significant, but generally speaking, all the stars are are a star, a round or shining, figuratively a prince, okay? This is where people need to understand that when you're looking at the stars, you're seeing just the lights in the heaven that God put there. He made the stars also. But you're also seeing different dimensional kind of aspects of the heavens because there are heavens up there, not just one. And I'll show you Genesis 3. No, Genesis 2. Sorry about that. These are the generations of the heavens, that's plural, and the earth when they were created in the day. The Lord God, the Lord God now, made the heaven, made the earth and the heavens again, plural, okay? There are multiple heavens in the firmament. The firmament doesn't have to be like this, you know, two-inch thick you know shell it's very vast it's it's god it's like you can't really imagine it but these guys they know what's going on up there i can tell you that for sure and so you know you can go anywhere on nasa gallery and and you know the reason this is important is because think of the people both believers and non-believers that don't even have a clue as to the depth of deceit that they've been put under. Um, I mean, this one entity alone, NASA, in my personal view, is responsible for more people uh, missing out on knowing Christ than probably any other entity out there. I mean, it all adds up to one big, you know, steaming pot of evil, but still. NASA's just bad, you guys. I mean, they are bad. And you can go anywhere on here. They got their galleries, all kinds of images. So I go to their little Hubble. This is the Hubble zone. 
where you can find all the images that the kajillion dollar Hubble telescope has given us so freely. And you know, you have to forgive my sarcasm, but I have a hatred towards the people behind this deception. You understand what I mean? And so you can just pretty much randomly pick any of these and sh I can show you this little guy right here. I can tell you just in this little thumbnail, it's a serpent. This is his eyes, it's his face, and this is his little serpent body slithering off. In the, it's just everywhere. So, you know, I basically just will grab one at random. I just searched for uh, nebulas. There's, there's one there, the Rosette Nebula. So let's pick that one. And I just grabbed the image. Now to look at it, yeah, wow, ooh, that's, that's really cool, right? Well, you can do simple things. This is how the entity that drives NASA, that runs NASA and all these dark projects, don't forget now, if you look at NASA here, remember, this year alone since Trump's been in there, look at what they've done. They've read, they've done the NASA Authorization Act. Go have a read at that. International, all this stuff they did to just further, and then Pence, you go look at his little speeches at NASA and stuff. It's crazy. We're going to go back to the moon. We're going to go to Mars. They can't get through the firmament. We, if you don't know that, you have done zero research, and then you just don't want to know. The reason it's important, again, is because think of the way that the average person will look at their lives and who they are and what they are and who created them if they knew where they actually lived. That's why this is the biggest deception ever. Think about it. I mean, again, so I just choose one, just one random image. And we can do all kinds of stuff with this, but generally, it's very easy. Usually, you can just take and just change, like, the brightness, the contrast, and get exactly what they're really showing. Can you see what I'm seeing already here? Can you see the eye? The eye? The nose? It's a skull. It's, it's literally like a skull of a demon. It's a demon. Look at it. Plain as day. Look at that. Okay? That's NASA. That's called the Rosette Nebula. Courtesy of NASA. One example of thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Because that's the spirit behind NASA. The stars in the sky are generally just that. Stars in the heaven that we see generally. But we're able to pick up, and that's what CERN's all about. That's what they're doing. They're, they are literally connecting into those entities. And it ain't good. It's going to be unleashed on this earth. And if you don't know Christ, man, it's going to take you, and you are just not going to have a chance. So just ask him. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to show you the truth of things and look into where you live just look into it there's a ton of stuff out there now people have done just outstanding work to prove that the earth is nothing like nasa tells you neither is the solar system neither is the universe they can't go to mars they can't go to they just can't why do you think they shot you know hundred missiles nukes at the firmament back in the 50s and stuff go look it up operation fishbowl i think it was called real stuff all right in front of your face once again but this is a big one this is one i share with people in person all the time and it's important because it's brought people to christ it truly has and so uh that's my little rant for this morning y'all Hope you all have a great week, great day, all that stuff. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
Wherefore take unto you the whole armour of God, 